Hey, gents. Yeah, it's morning, <laughs> and we're here at the Meadery. How are you guys doing today? Good morning, Michael. Good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited about, about your brand new Mead release here. I've been watching it online. You guys have a lot of social media around this. Tell me about your delicious new mead. So this new mead is called Bananas Fafnir. So the name is based on Fafnir the dragon in an old Germanic myth. He was a dwarf that was cha- changed into a dragon. And he hoarded gold, so we have importing bananas, though. <laughs> so the mead is made with wildflower honey, uh, maple syrup, molasses, cinnamon, and then we aged it in a Heaven's Door bourbon barrel for many months. Wow. So our friends at uh, r and Liquors uh, gave us the bourbon barrel. Also, you have been selling your mead there in, in the r and Yes, well, right? yes, over the past... That. Past couple years, right? Yeah, I believe yeah. so. They they probably have the biggest selection of our of our mead in the area. Nice. You can get a, a nice eclectic mix there of the spirits. Oh, yeah. And wine. yeah, they have a good selection. Where did the brainstorm come from for this? What were you oh. thinking? Oh, I need a banana mead. That's not so easy. <laughs> well, I was th- I was thinking that I wanted to make a banana mead, but I also like bananas foster a lot. I wanted uh, something that was like caramelized bananas and yeah, the, a little bit of spice and then bourbon notes so this is what we came up with it was easy to get all those flavors just by combining bananas and darker sugars and then the bourbon barrel and a little bit of spice notes the aroma you get is like bourbon soaked banana bread when you smell it so it's sweet but not syrupy sweet so it's a, it's a nice balance of all the ingredients i take it that's the, the last yes the yes oh yeah you're welcome to taste it <laughs> oh that smells good <laughs> you can't see this guy i'm gonna do this i'm doing this <laughs> Oh gosh, that is delicious! <laughs> yeah. That is so good. Yeah, it's, That's it's phenomenal. Yeah. It's a yeah. phenomenal. Meal. That is incredible. That tastes like a, an amazing banana dessert. Yeah. Banana fosters or something. Oh, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. And everything's real in it. There's no flavorings or extracts or anything. It's real bananas, real you know, real maple, wow. molasses, the, the oak from the barrel. Oh man, that's good. You probably hear the sound of me like swallowing. <laughs> <laughs> My morning is complete. You just won a bunch of awards. Yeah, we right? won. We won five awards at the National Honey Board Competition, Mead Crafters Competition. That's what it's called. Excellent. So you enter this every year? This was the first year we've entered it. We entered five meads and got five awards. Fantastic. So Congratulations. Pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. John and uh, his assistant, Jenna, they've been doing an awesome job. Because you guys are not strangers to winning awards for your meads. I mean, yeah. you've won international gold medals. Yeah, the Mazer Cup, we've won multiple medal, medals at the Mazer Cup. And then uh, Mead Lenium, uh, Mead Free or Die, the National Honey Board Competition. So we've been getting our name out there. Now, with B- Banana Spafner, is, is this limited? Meaning that when, when it's gone, it's gone? Yeah, it's a, it was a limited batch. Wow. About 53 gallons, so enough to fill the barrel. The bourbon barrels are 53 gallons. And then it never happens again? Or do you think uh, maybe one day you'll... We'll probably make it again. Yeah. Right. Depends how it sells, which <laughs> is really well right now. So. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. What's your most popular mead that you guys have? Probably our Freya's Kiss. This is a traditional mead, but that seems to be one of the most popular because it's just mead and it's a it's a good example to give somebody that's never had a mead before. Excellent. I, I remember the first time I filmed here, which was probably five years ago, right after you guys were still. Congratulations, yeah. by the way, half a decade. Mm-hmm. I tell people, I said, I thought mead was like this, this oil gruel. And, you know, <laughs> you know, it's like freaking yeah. out a horn, you know, and it's going like to make my hair fall out. But it, it's absolutely incredible. It, 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 it tastes like honey infused wine almost mm-hmm. is what, yeah, I mean, what would you guys describe it? Yeah, it's more more like wine. Carbonated like stuff's more like a drinks more like a cider. The still is definitely more like a dessert wine. And you guys are literally right on the bike path here. You've got an incredible bike path, and when the weather's nicer, of course it's yet February now, but this is a great place for people to bike to, a to have the, the means after a long ride, which is very refreshing and nice. And you have food, and then you have a food truck. Yep, yep. we got a food truck now. Hammer and horns, heavy metal themed uh, food truck. So. It's here Thursday through Sunday uh, during our open hours. The menu is kind of eclectic too, which is cool. We do uh, raclette cheese sandwiches, which uh, we use a French uh, Riverdale uh, raclette, which uh, is very expensive, so it makes a really awesome sandwich. Uh, the bread we get is from Old World Breads down in Lewis. A stuffed baked potato, pulled pork, pulled chicken, barbecue sauce on a, on a baked potato, and uh, turkey legs, like you get at the Ren Fair. Oh yeah. So we've gotten a lot of compliments on our, on our turkey legs. We do burgers and hot dogs and french fries and stuff as well. Nice. And you guys occasionally have live music here too, right? Yes. Yep. No, is that a regular standing gig or is it just whenever you can get people booked? 
Once it gets warmer, is usually when we have it. Snow destroyed our tent, so we gotta get a new tent. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> well, the Vikings do it. Yes. <laughs> well, gentlemen, thank you very much. This is absolutely delicious. Uh, let's give a shout out. You can buy this online. Yes, yeah, so you can buy it online and at RNL Liquors. At RNL Liquors. Okay, add it here. Of and course, here. Yeah. here. What's the website again? Let's give a shout out. It's uh, BirminghamMeadery.com. And your Facebook page? Birmingham Meadery. Yes. Yeah, easy to find on. Yeah, website. same with Instagram. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. I appreciate it. This is delicious. So, <laughs> guys, anyone out there fans of bananas, you're not going to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. I'll talk to you soon. All right, thank you. It's Michael. Hey, I've got Doug McGurk here, and he is the chef slash manager of the food truck. Yes, sir. We've been open going on about three months now. Nice, yeah, but three pandemic winter months. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been tough. Yeah, we, the, the food truck's definitely been a work of love. It's, uh, we we kind of really brought it back from the dead. So it, it sat down in Rehoboth for a couple years, and we replaced almost all the equipment in it from rusted out mess to brand new everything. Literally brought it back from the dead. So nice, uh, nice. Well, that, that ties up with, with uh, Vikings, right? There's a lot of like yep. uh, resurrection from the sure, dead and all. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes yep. sense. Absolutely. Yeah, so tell me about the food you offer on the truck. I was talking to John and JR earlier, and they were talking about a really amazing cheese sandwich with some gourmet additions to it. Yeah, so my idea for the menu, I wanted to keep things different. I didn't want to do just another burger chuck or taco chuck. So I came to JR with the idea to do Riclette sandwiches. The only other place closest to here that does Riclette is a place in New York. Oh, um, wow. And we're actually featured on uh, RiclettCorner.com as a place to get Riclette. Um, so it's essentially we take, they come in 12 pound wheels of cheese um, from France. We take them and cut them in half and then place them under a heating lamp. Top layer of the cheese is melted and then we take them off and we have a special uh, scraping tool. We scrape the cheese onto a baguette with uh, pickles, onions, ham, and Dijon mustard. And it's kind of a delicacy. They do it with different things as well. There's different dishes. Like you can get it with boiled potatoes, fried mushrooms, pickled onion and whatnot too. It's kind of a traditional uh, Swedish dish. They do it. And then we do the barbecue baked potatoes. Baked potato, your choice of full chicken or full pork. Turkey legs, because, hey, why not? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Turkey, turkey leg and a horn of meat. And, you know, <laughs> You're it's, good to go. Yeah, absolutely. And my burgers have been a big hit. I make uh, hand-pressed homemade burgers, special seasoning and whatnot in them, too. So. Excellent. Oh, I'm, I'm a burger man, so I'm yeah. going to be checking that out. Oh. So is the truck going to stay here at Birminghorn, or are you going to be moving it about? Stay at the meadery when the meadery is open. Monday through Wednesday, we're looking for a different place to go. We're currently working to get the truck mobile. We're going to be looking for a different place to take the truck, and then uh, we would also look to serve the catering. Well, the weather becomes our friend again. This is going to be real popular with the uh, the bike trail. The bike trail is probably double the season of the year, so it's definitely going to be positive for the truck as well. Excellent. I'm excited about that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially when the weather gets in. <laughs> we need that to happen. Yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. Hey, it's February already, so screw the groundhog, we're ready to go. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> All right, my friend, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. My pleasure, thank you.